so he's searching for his tag right there. All right, so are we going to start with Smashville for game one? More than likely. Yeah. I don't see it not being Smashville. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Losers, semis, game one, Lucky Win versus Don Quavius. All right, so. And I believe Don Quavius was the one who knocked Lucky Win into losers. Mm -hmm. I guess cross slash right there. He's got 40% up on Greninja right now. And he actually hits him with the up air to stay away from that up smash. Yeah, very nice start for Lucky Wind. He's going to really just try and keep Don Quavius off of the stage and prevent him from getting those opportunities that Don Quavius is just so good at getting with his grabs and his up tilts. Because yeah. if you're not on the ground, you can't grab and you can't up tilt. Yeah. Because you're in the air and you're off the stage. All right, so Lucky Wind has limit right here. Right. Auto cancels the down air right there to stay safe. Gets the cross Ooh. slash and yep, yeah, that's, and that's, that's that's really one, hard to tech. And right? that's one of uh, Lucky One's favorite things to actually try and edge guard with is the little bit cross slash off the stage, put them in a stage back situation. Mm -hmm. Because it's really hard to tech it because you got to wait until the whole cross slash is over and then tech. And plus, and they're going crazy over in the back of the room. Yeah, they're going crazy over that Amiibo tournament over there, which I believe, I personally believe that Amiibo tournaments are the least hype thing ever, but that's just me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anyway, no, actually, Don Quave is actually bringing it back. Yeah, they've been going crazy over in that corner the whole time. I don't know why. Making it a little hard to commentate over this, actually. Yeah, because we, we, we couldn't even hear ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Lucky Win is still just keeping this lead. Yeah, because even though Don Quavis was only at about 30% when he took out Lucky Win's first stock, and right, now there's just, a lot of pressure yeah. on Lucky Win right. right now, forcing him to use his limit. Mm -hmm. He hit him with like three or four forward airs in a row. This he gets him with his forward air. And Lucky Win actually doing the air dodge a little bit late so that he didn't get hit by pretty much anything. Yeah. Okay, up bees and does not get hit by... Um, Greninja's back here right there. I can hear the hype people whispering their hype now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, pressure's on Lucky Wind right now. He, he's probably going to get limit the next time he gets hit, though. He's that close to getting it, so he's probably not going to get, like, gimped. Now he does have limit. Okay, he's getting back, back here, in. Actually going to keep Don Quaver's walled out there. Hits him with the neutral air right there. Oh, Don Quave is sitting in the shield for all that. And Lucky Wind has actually thrown out his limit for something. And that's actually going to be a very bad situation because not having limit and trying to get back on the stage. No edge guard for Don Quavius, though. Yeah, he didn't. Well, oh, he oh, gets a footstool, I Lucky think. Lucky Wind footstools him off the bottom, makes it back, takes game one. All right, so Lucky Wind taking the first game right there. The footstool to finish off that second stock. When Lucky Win gets those really jank kills, he will tell you that he is the best at cheating the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He might be the best at it, too. <laughs> All right, going All right, back game to two. Going back to Smashville for game two, and same matchup. Imagine if Smashville was actually difficult to unlock. <laughs> and then, like, none of the setups had it. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so Don Quavius is taking the lead this time. He's just able to get in there and then just get him, get his setups going. And that's because Lucky Wind didn't really get him off of the stage this time and put him in those positions where Don Quavis needs to actually get himself back onto the stage and reset to neutral. Yeah. Because um, Lucky Wind didn't really have stage control, but Don Quavius has it, or would, ha would have had it for the most part instead, it's favored Don Quavis a little bit more. But um, 
lucky with having a limit and being able to use the fact that he had limits to get out of the situation because Cloud is a lot more mobile in the air. But he's out of a double jump here, so he's going to have to use it. Up smash, that's going to do it. All right, so he's at 69%. Let's see what he can do here. And Lucky Wind just really trying to wall him out with those back airs, but Don Quavy is not falling for it at all. Yeah, but he was um, um, break, um, not breaking his shield, but he was lowering um, the shield. He was making it smaller by doing that. So. Yeah, but eventually Don Quavius was able to get in, get a grab, and then all of a sudden that shield damage all of a sudden stops mattering. Yep. He right, does the down throw, get him off stage. All right, he hits the forward air right there. Tries to go for it again, does not hit it. And yeah, and th this is exactly the position that Cloud wants Don Quavis to be in. And Unfortunately, he did mess up his movement a little bit. Yeah, and so he had to use limit to make it back right there. Okay, makes it back to the stage. Up air, that does do it. It looked like he was actually going to be able to DI and survive that, but he wasn't able to. Yeah, and Lucky was sitting at 73% right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just... He does have a bit of an uphill battle to climb. Don is getting the read on the air dodge that time, knowing that Lucky Wind had been favoring that air dodge option, timing it pretty well to get around what Don Quavis had been doing up there. Yeah. All right, so up air. Nope, not going to do it yet. Yeah, Lucky Wind escaped in this situation. And he was looking for the uh, lagless down air into um, cross slash. So I think he's still looking for it too. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I'm not Alton, so I can't really commentators curse um, that into happening. <laughs> and he goes just, for finishing touch right there, but he went for an all or nothing play. But Don Quavius shielding it, very safe with that, and. Uh, John Quavius being very safe with that. Because the worst that could have happened to John Quavius there was that he got grabbed. Yeah. Like, his shield wasn't really going to be under much pressure of actually breaking. Yeah, so that second game is going to go to John Quavius right there. It's 1-1. One, one. And, okay. We're going to Dreamland for game three. You know, I believe it was Lucky Wins pick. Yes, because of, yeah, because he lost, so. And we know how much Lucky Wind loves to use these battlefield-like platforms. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Dreamland even more so, because Dreamland ceiling is pretty standard, lower compared to Battlefield. Yeah. All right, so... Um, a little bit of a lead right here for Don Quavius. Uh, tried to push him off with the up B right there, but did not actually yeah. hit he him. He rarely actually enough. gets it, but once in a while he can. Going to get the up air right there. It's one of, like, it's one of those things one. that if you're Greninja, it's worth going for. Because mm -hmm. what do you have to lose? Yeah, I mean, he was off stage. It's not like he can actually hit him or anything. I mean, it's a little bit of pressure. Worst case scenario, you reset to neutral. Yeah. But right right, now, does not get the up air right there. Yeah, but okay, uh, Lucky Wind actually getting punished on his uh, up tilt a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so now he's off stage. He's forced to use his limit right here. And now he's going to get off stage again. He pushes but he him still off. has his double jump. Yep. Up. But Don Quay is doing it again. Yep, there Keeping we go. Keeping Lucky off the stage, pushing him far enough, and that is the stock right there. Mm-hmm. So, good effort by Lucky when to try and get back on the stage by keeping that midair jump, but it wasn't enough. Yep. And that just came down to the Cloud's recovery just being the way it is. Yep. There's nothing you can do about that, really. Just, that's just how his recovery is. All right, here we go. He's got him up in the air. Okay, up air right there. Yeah, and, uh, All right, Lucky he's got Wind, limit. Yeah, and Lucky would have been throwing a lot, a lot more back airs once again, and he's been making a bit of a habit of doing that because of the damage potential on it, the spacing potential on it, the ability to just try and wall 
people out. All right, those guys are getting a little too hype in the corner again. Okay, catches, them, catches the air dodge with a shadow sneak right there. Okay. Now, any time that Lucky Wind gets off stage is, is scary because of simply Don Quavius being able to do that, that up B to just push him away. Very nice up until by Don Quavius because Lucky Wind is going for um, getting, just getting back onto the stage and not actually grabbing ledge. Okay, he does not actually hit him with the up B there. And so. Lucky Wind couldn't grab ledge there because he, was, he didn't have the ledge invincibility after he was ledge trumped. Yeah. But a um, very sizable lead for Don Quavius right now. Yeah. Yeah, so. just Lucky Wind just struggling to get anything to go for him right now. And it seems like Don Quavius has been just kind of in his head. Gets the cross the, slash right there. That is um, going to take out the stock there. But, but Lucky Wind at 160%. Yeah, like literally anything just about can just kill him. Like if he gets, okay. And Lucky Wind used to double jump from low this time so that like, he doesn't get like pushed out. He, I'm pretty sure he can still get like pushed down. Yeah. We're using the cover from the and stage. That's going to do it. The forward air. And that's game three. All right. So, Don Quavius is one game from taking this set. I wonder if Lucky Wind is actually going to actually go back to Dreamland because he loves those platforms so much, mm -hmm. even though the game that he won was on Smashville. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was I was thinking about it. I was thinking maybe he might go Fox simply just to, um, maybe because of the better recovery. But Fox's recovery still is exploitable. Not as not nearly as not exploitable nearly as, as ex not nearly as exploitable, but it still is exploitable. The other thing that Fox has in this matchup is the reflector. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of Greninja's mo most difficult matchups, mm -hmm. or it's definitely like up there as one of the more difficult ones. So this is actually I like the switch from Lucky Wind. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't really seen his Fox play um, that much. It's some up tilts right there. And he's just racking up his damage with Fox right now. Just these, Fox has some great ways to just rack up the damage on, on you. And he can use um, the reflector to just stall in the air. And it reflects yeah. the, the shuriken right back at him. Yeah, that could potentially kill Greninja too. Mm -hmm. So Don Quavis is going to need to be a lot more careful about that. All right, uh, up, so shows how up air does do it. Yeah, with Greninja's lightweight and that second hit of that up air, going to take the first stock for Lucky Win. Oh, the up smash gets him, though. Yeah, Lucky Win didn't air dodge or double jump. Yeah, I was thinking, like, he could have jumped away from that. I mean, Don Quavis was probably looking for an air dodge anyway because mm -hmm. that's what that option covers. Yeah, so he could have easily just jumped away from it. Like, it wasn't like he couldn't jump at all. I'm pretty sure he had his jump at that point. But Don Quavius is racking up the damage right now. He's sitting at a lead against um, Lucky Win right now. And he uses the reflector to actually stall himself and keep Don Quavius from actually being able to get anything off of that. Um, hit that Shadow Sneak. Yeah, up air. Lucky Win was um, just fishing for that up and to that the And that up air is going to do it. Don Quavius caught him. Mm -hmm. And eventually just took the stock after. Yeah. Don Fox, Quavius takes it. Fox is a fastballer, but he's actually pretty light, actually. He's one of the lighter characters.